When it comes to severe weather, most of us know Louisville is no stranger stranger. Because of that, area firefighters are not waiting until the next storm to take action. Our Victoria Bailey hit the road to check out what's new with Louisville's first responders. In 2014, we had so many resources from all over the state pouring to Louisville to help us. Uh, now this is one more opportunity that we can have to go help them if need be. Louisville Fire Chief Robert Hutto is talking about the newly added special response trailer. We wanted to have a an actual command center where our command staff could get inside. One, they're, they're protected from the elements. Um, two, they can make those command decisions with a, lot, a whole lot of background noise going on. Um, they can have some of those difficult conversations and uh, make those decisions that need to be made in a more secure area. The trailer was obtained through the Mississippi Forestry Firefighter Property Program. It allows for fire departments throughout the state to be able to get that uh, military type equipment, defense equipment, for $100. Uh, uh, so little cost to the departments and that equipment gets to continue being useful to the communities. In 2014 when the tornado came through here, we were operating again at, at the back of vehicles. Uh, City Hall and, and the boardroom became a, a kind of a, a command center there at one point. Now our, our responders will, will have a, a command center that we can deploy to incidents similar to that, but also if one of our neighboring communities needed something or had a big incident, we could deploy it there as well. The trailer is equipped with a tailgate and three monitors for information updates, gathering statistical data and drone surveillance. My deputy chief, uh, Jeff Franks, he does mapping on Microsoft Surface Pro. and He can actually do statistical data and everything on there to give searchers an idea of where we need to be looking for missing individuals. And Chief Hutto says none of this would be possible without help from the community. The community was huge in, in us as getting this. We've only got about a thousand dollars into this trailer um, because we were able to utilize grants and donation funds to do the decals on the trailer, um, purchase the dry erase boards and the maps and such like that that we need. Um, so we don't have a lot of money into it, but all of that came from donations from the community and Walmart, uh, so it, it was huge. Telling your story in Louisville for WCBI News, I'm Victoria Bailey. The Mississippi Forestry Commission gives excess equipment no longer needed by the federal government to ensure smaller communities first responders have proper resources in case of an emergency.